What's up, everybody? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays. For this Tuesday, November 14, 2023, I am your host, Russ Williams. I'm so glad you could be here, ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army. I'm so glad you could be here, and I realize you could have been anywhere in this world today, anywhere in this world today, but you decided to be here with me, and I appreciate that, and more importantly, I appreciate you. So welcome to Transition Tuesdays, my friends, on this great day here, November 14th, 2023. We have an action-packed show once again, but before I start the show, I always like to state my intentions, and my intention is to give you the opportunity to laugh, smile, think, and engage in honest conversations about your life's transition. So that's what we do here on Transition Tuesdays. That's what we do here. <laughs> hey, so let's get into it. We're going to transition to the power of saying the word no. Okay? Now, keep in mind, this month, <laughs> the first two letters <laughs> in, in this month is an N and an O for November, right? No. So let's get in good practice. So... But so now we can start, you know, this month by putting this practice into good use. So the power of saying no really frees yourself. Okay? It really feels good when you say that. The power of saying no. It really does. I'm telling you, it really does. And when people set when people say no, they are setting boundaries, okay? That people have to honor, both honor and respect. This is what happens when you say no. You are setting boundaries. You are setting boundaries. And speaking of that, let, hey man, let's, let's talk about this word, the power of no, okay? Let me play this here for you. All right? This is how strong I mean about the power of no. That's what happens. You can sing that little tune. You're not going to be able to do it, all right, when you say no, all right? Very powerful, very powerful. And speaking of very powerful, I got Felicia checking in from The Rock on the check-in. What's going on, Felicia? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As Felicia says, she's still in the parking garage. She's working late. Man, I appreciate you tuning in, Felicia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a alumni of Transition Tuesdays and a Transition Army lieutenant, I would say. Lieutenant. <laughs> so, I know you just joined us, Felicia, and other people are going to be joining us as well. We're talking about the power of saying no. The power of saying no. And I want everybody to understand this, okay, as we, as we go forward. Now, if you don't remember anything that, you know, we're talking about today on this Transition Tuesdays and our transition conversation we have weekly. The one thing I want you to remember is this important fact, okay? Very important fact. Now, the people you say no to, okay, will have will get over the fact that you said no, and they will figure it out, okay? Let me repeat that again. The people you will say no to they will get over the fact that you said no. Maybe the shock for some people that they'll say no, that you said no, but they'll get over that fact and they will eventually figure it out. You have to allow them a chance to figure it out. Because ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, you don't want to be an enabler. You don't want to be an enabler, okay? Because enablers, they say yes all the time. You don't want to be an enabler, okay? And I'll give you a great definition of the word enabler. An enabler is a person who engage, who encourages or enables negative or self-destruction behavior onto others. That is an enabler, okay? An enabler is always saying yes to whatever the person is saying. Yes, yes. An enabler cripples people. They cripple people by saying yes all the time. You don't give a chance, the person a chance to figure it out, okay? Don't be that enabler. Don't be that enabler. Felicia says, I like this topic, the power of no. I appreciate it, Felicia, and you can chime in as well, okay? So, yeah, don't be an enabler. Enablers say yes, okay? People who are not enablers, they they stick to the script of the power of saying no, okay? Now, I want to give some examples of the power of saying no, and, I, and I'll start first, and I want to you know, reach out to everybody to see if you have any ideas 
about, you know, one time that you might have had, you were, um, you know, you gave the power of no, the power of saying no. I want to see some, you know, some great suggestions out there. Maybe some people have done that in the past, okay? So I'll give you an example. I, I'll start off first, okay? I had to use the power of saying no to my to my daughter. And this had to do with money. So one day my daughter comes to me and she mentions to me that she needs money. She needs X amount of money for a deposit, okay? And I, I start off by saying no. Then my daughter was going back and forth with me. She was like, well, well can, you get, can you add, if you can't give this amount, can you give this amount? Then again, my answer was no. Well, how about this amount? Can you give this little amount? And the answer again was no. Stuck by my grounds and said no. Now, again, you're gonna get a reaction from the people who say no to you, okay? And in my case, my daughter's reaction was, okay, you're saying no? Okay, I'm done with you, all right? Don't text me or don't call me ever again, okay? Now, again, we gotta live with your con, you gotta live with the consequences of your action when you do that. And again, a lot of people aren't gonna like you when you say no, especially when you've been an enabler all this time, like I was, okay? So I really learned the lesson here, okay? So you might be asking yourself, how did that make me feel after I said no? Because I want to get to the vein of um, Maya Angelou, who talks about, again, people not going to remember what you said to them. People not going to remember what you did to them. But people are going to always remember how you made them feel, right? So I want to get to the feelings of it when I said no. Okay, when I said no, let's see if anybody else check it in. Oh, okay, when I said no. Okay, first of all, my feeling was I felt great because I did three things when I said no. And I recommend you do this as well, okay? The first thing was I set boundaries on how I wanted to be treated. And that's what happens when you say no. You're setting boundaries from the jump, okay? From the rip, okay? Second thing, I wasn't an enabler, okay? I didn't say yes, okay? I didn't cripple, you know, people who, you know, when you say yes, you're crippling the, you, you're crippling people by saying yes. You think you're doing the good thing, the great thing by saying yes, but no, you're actually crippling that person when you're saying when you're saying yes. Okay, and uh, and I'm talking about in terms of like parenthood in my case, in my example. Okay, so I wasn't an enabler. I said no. Okay, enablers say yes. Okay, keep that in mind. And then in the end, my daughter, like I talked about that, and inevitably she figured it out. Okay, she figured it out. She got the money and she did what she wanted to do. She figured it out by me saying no. So it's just a teaching lesson, a, you know, it's a teaching lesson here when you do that, the power of no. Okay, because those power, the, the, those, that little word N-O is a powerful word, very powerful word. So Felicia says, Fig, uh, figuring things out builds character. It's a long-term benefit because you grow in the process. Absolutely, Felicia, I definitely agree with you. Yeah, when you when you figure it out, yeah, you build in character. You know, because life is tough out here, right? And again, it's how you how you respond to things. And when you respond to that no, you know, and you're not an enabler, you're building character for that person. It's like Felicia said, you're building character. So if you're a young person, you're building character. And that's what it's all about, building character. Okay, so when you have, and, when you ha and, and, and Felicia says, hashtag standing firm, absolutely. Yeah, you got to stand your ground when you do this. You got to stand your ground, okay? And another thing I'll say is, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty after you say no, okay? Because number one, you are protecting both your peace and sanity when you say no. You're protecting your peace and sanity when you say no. So never feel guilty. Okay, I even looked it up about, you know, how to say no without feeling guilty. Okay, and I wanted to share this couple of, couple of things that I looked up for, with you guys, okay? Okay, so that's the key. Not feeling guilty. Standing firm, like Felicia said, not feeling guilty. Okay, you have to tell yourself that it's impossible for you to say yes when you don't feel right about it. You know in your gut feeling if this isn't right. So why would you say yes to that? Okay, you got to stand firm. You have to stand firm in your, in, in your stance on saying no. Okay, you have to tell yourself 
that you're not being selfish and that if that person thinks that you're selfish for not for not um for not doing something unreasonable that's then that's not the person you should not be associated with okay because by you saying no it's not a selfish act it's not a selfish act actually you you're you're helping the person by saying no and standing firm okay and also again and again I, and I want everybody to really understand this don't feel guilty don't feel guilty because you can't please everyone you can't please everyone when you're saying no okay you can't please everyone okay you can't please the people you 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 can please the people you really care about some of the time okay but it's not possible to please every person every time not not reasonable you cannot please everybody all of the time you can't do that okay you can't do that okay so let me see anybody else so yeah again don't feel guilty when you're doing this do not feel guilty okay because this is something that builds character like felicia said thank you felicia on that one it builds character okay it's really powerful those words are powerful the power of saying no okay so does anybody out there if you just joined us okay we're talking about the power of saying no so is anybody out there who has a possibly um if you can give me an example when you said no to somebody and how did it, how did you feel afterwards because again i want to get your feelings and thoughts how you felt afterwards okay we got Tanya TC is in the house. What's going on, Tanya? Welcome to Transition Tuesday. As I always say, TC is in the building. <laughs> What's going on, TC? Welcome to Transition Tuesday. So, TC, you just joined us along with some other people. Again, we're talking about the power of saying no, and we're looking to get some examples when, 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 uh, when there was a time in your life when you said no to somebody, and how did you feel afterwards by saying it? Okay. Like for me, I was so relieved. I felt so much, you know, the stress less, right? And again, I felt in peace. I felt in peace. Man, we also got my guy Cliff is in the building. What's going on, Cliff? Welcome to Transition Tuesdays, my friend. <laughs> now, Cliff says, uh, love it. Big guy being kind is sometimes not kind. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, sometimes, yeah, you know, you <laughs> sometimes not being kind, yeah, again, by saying no. And again, it's all in the approach, too. Again, when, you, when you're saying no, you know, you're saying it in love. You know what I mean? You're not getting, you don't have to get angry. Like in my case, I wasn't angry. My voice wasn't caring, what have you, you know, but you just stand firm in it, okay? And again, you might be viewed as the, as the bad guy in this case, like in my case here, you know, me as a parent. But sometimes you just got to step in the room and be a parent. You got to do that. And what that means is by saying no. Okay? Because you don't want to enable, you don't want to enable your, your child or your loved one, you know, like for 30s, 40s, in the 50s, and sometimes 60s, sometimes 70s. Do you want to be that parent? Do you want to be that person who just enables all the time? No. Person doesn't learn a lesson. The person doesn't develop character. When you're saying yes all the time, you don't allow the person to figure it out. We got a lot of people to fill it out, to figure it out. <laughs> As Cliff says, Philly slash uh, Delaware, right? D is Delaware, I believe. Yes. Yep. What's going on, Cliff? Yep. So yeah. So does anybody out there, you know, as we as we continue to talk, you know, again, if you have an example of when you said no, and how did you feel afterwards? Okay. Because for me. I felt good about it. I felt good about it, and I'll tell you why I felt really good about it. I felt really good about it because I did the right thing. Okay? I stand on the or I stand on doing the right thing. Alright? Again, I stepped in the room as a parent. And sometimes you gotta do that. You know? Hey. And you might be considered a bad guy. Hey, bottom line is they'll thank you. So you're welcome. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Cliff says, uh, it's sometimes never enough. The guilty feeling afterwards isn't love if they don't respect it. There you go. I I'm glad you said that, Cliff. And I'm going to talk about that too. Good topic, being the good guy. Yes, 
You know, the guilty feeling afterwards is it love if they don't respect it. Okay, yeah, they're going to respect it. They will respect it. They will honor that. Because, again, you set up boundaries like that. It's all about boundaries that we set up. You know, people ask you to do something that you don't want to do. You know, you're setting up the boundaries, how you want to be treated. You know? And, again, and so, and so, and if the person views you as a bad person, so be it. That's okay. That's okay. They'll thank you later. They'll thank you later. I heard a story today about, you know, about the power of saying no. Well, actually, this person went opposite. It was this lady who who had a who had a you know she was uh she was married with a family and um she had a house and um, she had a cousin of hers who had a she was a family of like she had four other kids and they got evicted from their house and they asked the per the person at the cousin asked the other cousin can they come and stay with them right so in this case. The person said, yes, you could come and stay. So it turns out, you know, didn't really research why they were evicted in the first place, but they were soon to find out the reason why they were evicted because they were a terror in that place. They came to this person's place, was a terror, wasn't even letting people um, come out their apartments because the, the kids were that tough on people. And guess what happened? Because she said, yes, now, they had to be evicted from their home because of these actions of these people. You know, whereas if you set barriers and say, listen, no, we, we I can't do, no, we're not going to be able to do that. Can't be able to do it. So that person had to find out the hard way. Had to find out the hard way. But when you set up barriers, you know, and when you say no and you mean it, you know, and you don't enable the people, you know, you get the results. And people thank you later. People will thank you later. I'm telling you. Trust me, guys. People will thank you later. Don't worry about the guilt, okay? Don't let that guilt dissuade you from doing the right thing is what you're saying no in the situation. Because, again, we're all about building the character of people, especially with the young people, especially if you're a parent and this comes up about parents or what have you, you know, with our young people, okay? We got to teach these people hard lessons, Okay, you got to give them a chance to fall. You know, you're there to, you're there to help them. You know, that you're there to help them. You don't love them any less because you're saying no. Okay, and they have to realize that. And sometimes they might have to get a hard lesson in that. Case in point for my daughter, she had to get a hard lesson in that. But again, she figured it out. And this is building character. And this is building character. So again, again, saying no, man, the power of saying no is very powerful. The word N-O, those two letters are very powerful in your process. Again, some of you come up with this every single day, again and again, <laughs> and I'll be the first to tell you. How do you feel afterwards? You feel great by doing it. I'm telling you that. You feel great by doing it. So guys, I'm going to get you guys out of there, all right? So ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, if we were able to make you laugh, smile, and think during this broadcast... My good friends, you have accomplished something major today. So celebrate your victory. Celebrate your victory today. All righty? Big or small, right? Celebrate your victory on this November. No. Make sure you remember no. All right? <laughs> Let me get to my theme music here. Let's get this playing here. Hey, there we go. All right. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, Transition Army, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for you watching Transition Tuesdays each and every Tuesday. I thank you so much. Okay? Man, man, you know, you can follow me on, um, oh, no, before that, before that, right? <laughs> you can watch this episode and our past episodes on our YouTube channel, Transition Tuesdays. So, please like and subscribe before you leave the channel. Okay? Make sure you do that. If you haven't been following me, you can always follow me on Instagram at Russ Will Transitions. That's Russ Will Transitions with an S. Okay? Want to give a super duper shout out because she's here today to our corporate sponsor of Sweet Candy Cafe, which is the home of Southern Sweetness in downtown Lubberton, North Carolina. So before we leave here, we're almost done. Now, guys, I want you to go to sweetcandycafe.com, right, and order your confectionery goodies. Now, I want to stress this, and I know Felicia will probably be sweet. This is not as I call it. It's going to probably be embarrassed, but check this out, guys. 
Miss Felicia Evans Long is celebrating 11 years in business. Okay, there's the, there's a press flyer that just went out. Oh man, I'll tell you, 11 years in business. That is big, man, for a small business, for a minority-owned business, for a for a woman in this business in this particular field. This is major, guys, and we gotta get, we gotta get behind people like this, and we gotta support them. So make sure you go to sweetcandycafe.com and order your confectionery goodies. Okay, your taste buds will thank you. All right, your taste buds will thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, transition army, as we say, party. Happy transitioning, and we'll speak to you soon. Take care, everybody, and I want to play with this tune so we won't forget on this November. All right, I don't want you to forget. All right? I don't want you to forget this. Say no. Say no. You'll be able to do it. God bless, guys. Take it easy.